Okay, the next feature on the uh, Tectimate 3000D that I want to demonstrate is how to wipe um, all the channels off of the box and reprogram the box from scratch, okay? It's relatively simple to do this. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to pick up the remote control and I'm going to press uh, the menu button here, uh, which is here. Uh, it prompts me for a password, which is simply four zeros. Uh, in we go. And we come along and we'll go, first of all, uh, to wipe the channels, which is sort of step one of our process. And we come over as far as factory reset. And we come along and we come down as far as delete channels, or delete all channels. I press OK. Do I really want to do this? Uh, I say yes. Click OK. And I've wiped it. Right? Uh, that'll take a few moments. I simply exit out now. And uh, what I do is, when I exit out, I come along and I go into the installation uh, mode here. Okay, uh, now the, the reason that we would wipe all the channels off there, just to quickly mention that, is that you know we might want to, we might have a situation here where the boxes can be pre-programmed, uh, as all Technomate boxes do, uh, by Technomate itself, and maybe there was a number of channels which the frequency had changed on since, or that maybe that the channel list is just too long, we're not overly interested in it, and we wanted to program it up uh, specifically for uh, the channels of interest, or we heard that there's a new channel out on a new frequency, we're not sure what it is, and we want to do it a full scan to look for all these possible channels, okay? So what we're going to do here now is we'll come over and the first thing here, we just want to check what satellite are we set up on. And we can see by default we're set up on Astra 28.2. So there's a whole range of channels there, probably about 40 different satellites. But uh, that's the one we're interested in. So we can simply exit out there, okay? If we're changing satellites, we hit the yellow button to save it. And we come down here and we simply can go into blind search, okay? So when we go to blind search, we simply go in here, we'll come along anyway, and it says uh, we'll select that particular satellite and... Um, uh, it'll say uh, bl uh, blind search and hit the blue button to select it. And wh what type of channels do we want to select? Is it TV, radio, or all? Well, we'll probably have an interest in everything there, so it would almost universally you'd leave that section to uh, all. And then come along uh, for, the, for the search type. Well, will we go for um, uh, all, free to wear only, scrambled? So obviously we'll go for uh, free to wear only because it's a free to wear system. Uh, and now we can come along and uh, press OK, and that's it. So what it'll actually do here, it just works through the entire process, pulls out all of the relevant uh, TPs, and then comes along and does a scan on those and joins in the whole thing. So we're actually just going to cut the video here at this point, and we'll just join back in a few minutes when we've completed the scan, okay? Hi, now the scan is now complete. So we can see here, we've just been returned back to the original menu. So we just pick up the remote control, hit exit, exit again. Now we're coming out now and hit the OK button. We can see now we've pulled in a total of 324 free channels on it, okay? Uh, but a lot of those are duplicates that would be of interest to us. So we'll have to manually normally go back and edit this out and delete on, off unwanted channels, things like that. But that's basically uh, how to do a scan, uh, or how to do a, a total wipe of your box and then to do a rescan, okay? Um, so that's the end of the video.